Okay, we're rolling. Here we go. All right, everyone. Uh, I can't see if I'm filming, right? So I have to hold it like this. <laughs> Tyneside Scottish. I'm gonna do a beer video today, and um, this is one that I got for Christmas. I got two bottles of this, and also it was like in a box, and also I've got the the actual glass. Where's your glass to the fighting fifth? It'd probably be easier to read that when it's full of beer. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> Fucking crappy phone camera, don't focus on anything. Raise your glass of Italian side Scottish and amber coloured ale, perfectly blended molten hops, makes this well rounded beer balanced and refreshing, best served chilled. Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> um, it says, Help the Northeast community commemorate the centenary years of. World War One by remembering the bravery and sacrifice of all our famous locally raised regiments. Raise your glass to honour them, and by doing so you are contributing to the commemoration events planned for 2018. Brewed by Hadrian and Border Brewery. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, uh, pretty the phone won't ca focus on anything, so I can't really show the, the artwork. That's... Oh, it will, as I get closer. There's a... What the fuck is that? A lion raising a flag. <laughs> Look at him. Looks like looks like a Sonic character or something. So, um, yeah, I can't really see what I'm filming when I've got the camera turned this way, because um, if I have my phone on portrait mode, like selfie mode, it, like, reverses it so all the writing is backwards. more fascinating stories like that on this channel every single day daily content every single day guaranteed fascinating tales about my camera and the way it works so <laughs> this is as best i can do at the minute very low tech with the uh oh god you know what i'll put it i'll clamp it between my legs right no wait there should i do it This is how I'm tilting the glass. And I'm going to, using my knees, expertly tilt it upright for the perfect pour. Look at this. Look at that. It's almost perfect, isn't it? You ever seen such a perfect pour done with one hand? Okay, it's got, you know, the head on it is a bit big. I'll admit that. But for one handed and clamping the bottle between the glass between my knees, I think that's pretty good going. Got that foamy head as well, crazy. <clears throat> Only mild spunkage on my leg. Um, so there you go, you can get a better look at the um, at the glass there, it's pretty nice glass isn't it, pretty cool. Alright, so let's have a try. Foamy as fuck. Oh nice. Yeah, nicely hopped, not crazy hops. Kind of like the hops have got that sort of tobaccoy taste that I kind of enjoy, where it's it's like it's not so like strong and citrusy that it completely like that's the only thing you can taste. It kind of like balances with the malts, you know, like the the malt and the hop flavors combine nicely, rather than one override and the other. And uh, it's it's a good little tasty beer, proper old man style drink this. Uh, mm, nice, but oh God, my my camera is so crap on this phone. Yeah, the head on it is really foamy as well. I like that. I do like a head with staying power. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, excuse me.
excuse me, sorry about that, everybody. Um, I'm, I'm apologies to the people who subscribed for the beer reviews. That are kind of, you know, I don't do as many as I used to anymore. Because, um, just because, like, of medical reasons, but I do them now and then. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, this is this is as good as you're gonna get. That is a nice beer, that. Is a, uh, I don't want to say it was like an amazing beer, but it's it's just a nice... Like, if you got this in a pub, like, it'd be a nice one where you could have, like, a few pints of it over the night, you know. It wouldn't get too much. It's just a nice sort of drinkable beer, you know. You wouldn't get sick of it after after a couple of pints. Um, you know, it slides down nicely, that kind of thing. It's, uh, you know, a nice easy drinker and kind of, it does have that really old man taste to it that I, I enjoy in beers, you know. Nothing, nothing garish about it, nothing brash and obnoxious about the flavour, it's just sort of nice, balanced, calming, you know, something to sup. An old man sat over a, a, a pub a pub bench, supping on his beer, reading the Daily Mail. That's the kind of beer this is. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to finish this off, so um, cheers everyone. Oh god, it's gassy like. I had a curry earlier, so it's probably. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna neck this. Drink it down. Mm, nice. It's got a sweetness to it as well. Like a honey a honey sort of sweetness. Um Kind of mixes nice with the bitter taste. Yeah. Alright, there we go. So this has been Tiny Inside Scottish. And uh, this has been Channel Fudge. Daily content, guaranteed.